When Angel Gabriel came to visit the community of the Prophet ﷺ, there's a very important lesson. And that was, how was he dressed? Did he dress in a culture different than the people recognized? Did he dress in a, in a culture that was foreign to the people of Medina? Or did he wear the dress which was culturally appropriate for the people he was sent to? He would wear the dress which was culturally appropriate for the people that he was sent to. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded him to do that. In our da'wah, there are times where we certainly need to wear thobes and turbans. And there are times where we need to display our honor as Muslims. But there's also nothing wrong with dressing like the people you reside amongst if the effort is to bring them close to Islam and you are not capitulating yourself to their authority. That, that's very important. It's not done out of shame. It's done out of being smart. Imam Ibn Taymiyyah was asked about dressing in the clothes of the non-Muslims. If, if this falls under tashabbuh bil kuffar, you know, emulating the disbelievers and so on. He said, absolutely not. And he said, for a number of reasons. Number one is, you're going to bring people closer to you. You're going to create these relationships that you already have. Number two, you're going to protect yourself. When Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu went to Damascus, and he found Muawiyah and the people who had begun to uh, um, join Muawiyah's ranks even at that time, that they were dressing in a very fancy way, a very, very kind of austere way. Imam al-Qarafi and Anwar al-Buruq, he mentions that clothing is not a bid'ah. The way you dress is not an innovation. He mentions this narration. When Sayyidina Umar saw them, he said, I know you know that I don't like this. But I know you know your people the bit better than I do. So handle your people. Deal with your people. The people of Sham at that time. So the point is, if we look at the da'wah in America, we have to be strategic. I remember one time I made a mistake. I gave a khutbah and I mentioned this uh, in, in Masjid Da'wah in Chicago. MashaAllah, what a, what a community, man. A brother came to me and said, Sheikh, if I start to wear the clothes that I wore before I was you know, Muslim, and I get shot because I used to be in a gang. So the thobe and the turban are protecting me. I say, man, wear the thobe and turban. But there's other instances where, where people have been told to dress in Pakistani cultural dress or in Malaysian cultural dress or in African cultural dress. And it has created more of a harm for them than a benefit within the, the realms of their family and their community and the people around them. So what falls under ibaha permissibility is largely left to your own personal decision. And when we see that Angel Gabriel is able to go into a place and not create no smoke, man, right? And dress in the custom of the people, because in general, we say in usul fiqh, al-a'raf, right? Customs, well, 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 uh, well, al-a'raf, customs and so on and so forth, generally are considered permissible unless there is a text to show they are forbidden or a consensus.